Hey everyone, how's it going? Thank you so much for tuning in, and for those of you who haven't visited the channel, welcome to x Rides Cars. Today, we'll go ahead and take a look at this very unique and custom 2014 Ford Mustang V6. So this will be a full take of the Mustang. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, and go over the performance data, as well as show you a bunch of the unique aspects of both the interior as well as the exterior. This exterior color is known as sterling gray metallic, featuring a full black cloth interior. You gotta love that strong startup from that Roush exhaust. The Mustang does come standard with speed proportional electric assist rack and pinion power steering on this three spoke leather wrapped steering wheel. You have multifunction controls in the top two spokes. You also have silver trim coming across the top spokes as well and the bottom. As far as transmission, this particular one comes with the standard six speed manual transmission. Crisp short throws. Push down all the way to the left, up for reverse. And so we'll go ahead and flip on the headlights, as well as the hazards. Both the windows are fully automatic. So we'll go ahead and check out the exterior, shall we? The Ford Mustang is an American muscle car. It was the first car to be recognized as a pony car, distinguished as affordable coupes with long hoods and short rear decks. It is also what led to the creation of competitors such as the Pontiac Firebird, AMC Javelin, Plymouth Barracuda, and the Dodge Challenger. The Mustang also gets credit as it inspired the designs of cars such as the Ford Capri and Toyota Celica. The Mustang was initially based on the platform of the second generation North American Ford Falcon, which was a compact car. The original 1962 Ford Mustang 1 two-seater concept eventually evolved for the Ford Mustang four-seater, which was used to pretest how the public would take interest in the first production car. The first-gen Mustang was introduced in April of 1964 at New York World's Fair, with production in Dearborn, Michigan for the 1965 model year. They were made in three body styles. Ford's designers began drawing up larger versions even as the original was achieving sales success. From 1967 to 1973, 
the Mustang got bigger, but not necessarily more powerful. It was facelifted, giving it a more massive look overall and allowing a big block engine to be offered for the first time. Front rear end styling was more pronounced and the twin cove instrument panel offered a thicker crash pad and larger gauges. Hardtop, fastback, and convertible body styles continued as before. New safety regulations by the US NHTSA for 1967 included an energy absorbing steering column and wheel, four way emergency flashers, a dual circuit hydraulic braking system, and softer interior knobs. The 1968 models received revised side scoops, steering wheel, and gas caps. Side marker lights were also added that year, and cars built after January of 1968 included shoulder bells for both front seats on coupes. The 1969 restyle added more heft to the body as width and length again increased. Weight went up markedly too. Due to the larger body and revised front end styling, the 1969 models had a notable aggressive stance. These models featured quad headlamps which disappeared to make way for wider grille and a return to standard headlamps in the 1970 models. This switch back to standard headlamps was an attempt to tame the aggressive styling of the 1969 model, which some felt was too extreme and hurt sales, but 1969 production exceeded the 1970 total. The second generation Ford Mustang was revealed in September of 1973, a few months before the first 1973 oil crisis. The second gen was smaller in size which allowed it to compete against successful imported sports coupes such as the Datsun 240Z, Toyota Celica, and European Ford Capri. This model was available in both coupe and hatchback versions, including a luxury Ghia model designed by Ford's recently acquired Ghia of Italy. All Mustangs in this generation did feature frameless door glass, however. The Ghia featured a thickly padded vinyl roof and smaller rear quarter windows, giving it a more formal look. In 1974, the models were hardtop, hatchback, Mach 1, and Ghia. Changes introduced for 1975 include availability of an MPG model which had a different rear axle ratio for better fuel economy. 1976 added the Stallion trim package. The Mach 1 remained through the life cycle of 1974 to 1978. Other changes in appearance and performance came a Cobra 2 version from 1976 to 78 and a King Cobra in 1978. On 1977 to 78 hatchback models in all trim levels was also now available with the very popular T-Top roof option which included a leatherette storage bag that clipped to the top of the spare tire hump. The third gen Mustang was based on the larger Fox platform which had a larger body and increased wheelbase which yielded more interior space for four passengers, especially the back seat. The car also had more trunk space and a larger engine bay. Available body styles included the coupe, hatchback, or convertible. Available trim levels included an unnamed base model, Ghia, Cobra, L, GL, GLX, GT, Turbo GT, LX, GT350 20th Anniversary Edition, SVO, and Cobra R. The third generation Mustang had two different front end styles. From 79 to 86, the front end was angled back using four rectangular headlights known by enthusiasts as four eyes. The front end was restyled from 87 to 93 model years to reflect the contemporary, rounded off aero style of the Ford Taurus using flush composite headlamps and a smooth grill-less nose. The Mustang was selected as the 1979 official Indianapolis 500 pace car with replicas sold to the public. Its special body appearance parts were adapted by the Cobra package for 1980 to 1981. 1982 marked the return of the Mustang GT, replacing the Cobra which used a specifically modified high output 5 liter engine. 83 marked the return of the Mustang convertible after a 9 year absence. The front fascias of all Mustangs were restyled, featuring a new grille, sporting the blue oval Ford emblem for the first time. 1984 introduced the high performance Mustang SVO, which featured a 2.3 liter turbocharged and intercooled 4 cylinder engine and unique bodywork. The Mustang celebrated its 20th anniversary with the special GT350 model in white with red interior and red lower bodyside rocker stripes. 1985 Mustangs received another front fascia restyle. The Mustang received a major restyling for 1987 including the interior, which carried it through 
the end of the 1993 model year. Under the newly established Ford SVT division, the 1993 Mustang SVT Cobra and Cobra R were added as special, high-performance models which closed out the third generation of the Mustang. After 15 years came the Mustang's major redesign for the 1994 model year, which began the fourth generation Mustang. Many styling cues came from other Mustangs, but also for the first time, the hatchback was no longer offered, leaving it to only the coupe and convertible. The original design of the fourth gen was produced from 1994 to 98, and it was facelifted from 1999 to 2004, with Ford's new edge styling theme with sharper contours, larger wheel arches, and bodywork creases, but basic proportions remain the same. The powertrain remained the same except it got some new improvements. This generation Mustang was also sold in Australia between 2001 and 2002 to compete against the Holden Monaro. Due to the fact that the Mustang was never designed for right-hand drive configuration, Ford Australia contacted Tickford Vehicle Engineering to convert 250 Mustangs and modify them to meet Australian design rules at a cost of 4 million Australian dollars. Sales did not meet expectations, due in part to a very high selling price. In total, only 377 Mustangs were sold in Australia between 2001 and 2003. Ford introduced a redesigned 2005 model Mustang at the 2004 North American International Auto Show in Detroit, codenamed S197. The S197 styling echoes from the fastback Mustang models of the late 1960s. The 2010 model year Mustang was unveiled in November of 2008 prior to the LA International Auto Show, also known as the S197-2. Production began on January of 2009 and went on sale in March of that year. The 2010 Mustang was a revision of the 2005-2009 to models retaining the D2C platform. Design and development work began in 2005, with September being the year when designer George Saridikas exterior proposal design was chosen, as well as Robert Gallardi's interior proposal under Chief S197 designer Doug Gafka. Afterward, Gafka became, became immediately responsible for the design of the 2008-2009 Bullet and GT500KR, upon the MY2010 design selection in 2006. The resulting production exterior design of late 2006 was substantially revised, resulting in a better aerodynamic performance. Ford claimed the coefficient of drag was reduced by 4% on V6 models and 7% on GT, and that the front aerodynamic lift was reduced by 37% on V6 models and 23% on GT models. Specific changes to the exterior include a restyle Mustang emblem, a new headlight design with integrated turn signals, new slimmer side mirror design, a prominent power dome hood, and revised three lens taillights with LEDs that blink in sequence for turn indication. Additionally, the 2010 Mustang GT used similar fog lights than the 2005-2009 models, though they were still mounted in the car's grille. Fog lights on V6 models, a part of the revised pony package first introduced in 2006, are now mounted in the lower fascia below the grille. The radio antenna has been moved to the rear of the car, and the lock for the trunk no longer featured a keyhole in the trunk lid, substituting with a remote trunk release only. In spite of its changes, the 2010 Mustang's overall exterior dimensions were nearly identical to the 2005-2009 models. The Mustang's interior was revised featuring higher quality thermoplastic olefin surfaces available in real aluminum trim and improved fit and finish. The new design moved away from the linear nature of the previous models. Ford Sync became available as a factory installed option on all, all trim levels of the Mustang except for the base model. This generation was also the first to be sold in Japan, but in left-hand drive form with exterior lighting modifications to comply with Japanese government regulations. In 2011, the 4-liter V6 used in the Mustang since the 2005 model year was replaced with Ford's Duratec 37 3.7-liter double overhead cam V6 seen here. Unlike earlier V6s, the new engine featured twin independent variable cam timing and a true dual exhaust. Between 2009 and 2010, development took place on further updates to the second generation S197. In late 2010, the design work by Robert Gallardi was frozen with prototypes being first spotted in May of 2011. November that year, Ford unveiled the 2013 model Mustang. 
This new model had an updated exterior with a new front fascia featuring a larger grille, standard HID headlamps, and two LED accent strips adjacent to the headlamp lens. Malls equipped with the pony package offered LED lighting mounted on the side view mirrors that produce a projection of a running horse on the ground, 18 inch wheels, and lower valence fog lamps. In the rear, LED tail lamp clusters included sequential turn signals as with 2010 to 2012 Mustangs and a reverse indicator light integrated within the brake light. The trunk lid included a black panel that united the left and right tail lamp clusters. Several new wheel designs were offered. Inside, Ford now offered a 4.2 inch display between the speedometer and tachometer on the premium models. Selections in this information display included G-force, acceleration times, air to fuel ratio, cylinder head temperature, and oil temperature. All models equipped with the 6-speed automatic transmission included a select shift feature which provided drivers the ability to choose and hold a gear and to shift manually. As far as the exterior features and modifications go, you have custom LED headlights, custom LED side markers, custom carbon fiber front splitter. This car has been fully blacked out as well, completely de-chromed. You have custom AMR 7 twin spoke wheels, 20 by 8 in the front and 20 by 10 in the back. Custom yellow brake calipers. 3.7 badges along the side, those are also custom. You also have a custom black wrapped roof. You have a Roush exhaust along with an RTR deck lid. This Mustang has aftermarket AMR 7 twin spoke black alloy wheels measuring 20 by 8.5 inches in front and 20 by 10 in the rear with 255-35 tires in front and 275-35s in the rear. You also have front and rear disc brakes with anti-locking, electronic brake distribution, as well as active brake assist. This Mustang comes standard with an independent McPherson strut front suspension, as well as a rigid axle multi-link rear suspension with front rear stabilizer bars, coil springs, as well as gas pressurized shock absorbers. This vehicle is a length of 188.1 inches, a width of 73.9 inches, along with a height of 55.8 inches, running on a 107.1 inch wheelbase. Total curb weight can be around 3501 pounds. So we'll go ahead and pop the hood. The Ford Mustang V6 comes standard with the 3.7 liter naturally aspirated 24 valve V6. It produces 305 brake horsepower at 6500 RPM, along with 280 pound-feet of torque at 4250 RPM. 0 to 97 kilometers an hour or 0 to 60 miles an hour is rated at 5.2 seconds with a top speed of 135 miles per hour. This car is rear wheel drive with a 16 gallon tank requiring 87 octane or 92 ron gasoline, also known as petrol fuel. EPA estimated miles per gallon ratings are 19 city and 29 highway. Open up the Mustang and you do get a decent amount of features. You have power windows and locks, as well as manual mirrors. You also have a storage pocket down at the bottom. Along with that, you have full manual seats. They do recline, and they adjust back and forth. We'll go ahead and shut it up. Nice tight panels. This Mustang does come with the standard sound system. It does sound pretty decent though. You have visors. with illuminated vanity mirrors, reading lights, auto dimming rear view mirror. 
you have a radar detector, you can always add one. Two side air vents, 12 volt power outlet. This is the standard infotainment system. So you do have a CD changer, you have AM, FM stations, and you have auxiliary. Single zone climate control. Fan speed. Air conditioning, recycling, front and rear defrost. And you also have position control in the center. Traction control, hazard switch, and your trunk release button. You have a custom carbon fiber shift knob. Two cup holders. And a center console. It's got decent amounts of space. As far as your steering wheel, you have your music control. And you have cruise control on the left. You have your wiper switch and turn signal stock. You have your dashboard dimming feature, and you have your headlight control as well. OBD dew port down there, and your hood release. All right. We'll go ahead and shut it down. So we'll go ahead and check out the rest of the vehicle, shall we? The Mustang does have a fair amount of cargo space for its class. You get a pretty good 13.4 cubic feet or 379 total liters of space. It is pretty good for fitting a bunch of small items. You could fit of course a backpack and a soccer ball, obviously way more than that. Underneath you will have your jack storage as well as your spare tire storage. To access the back seat, there is a little lever behind the seat. You just pull it up and the seat will fold. It is quite tight back here, but for smaller people, it's not too bad. You have the same manual functions as the driver's side on your passenger seat. You have a custom Roush badge on the dashboard. Decent sized glove box. The Ford Mustang V6 is a very unique Mustang. It is the base entry level model for that year, especially during the S197 generation. But still, after you tune it and add a couple of modifications, you can still use it as a fantastic car for performance. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video of this 2014 Ford Mustang V6. Be sure to stay tuned next time, there's a lot more where all this came from, and be sure to subscribe today and check out all the future content coming to X-Rides Cars. Take care everyone.